Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and I just wanted to make a video of my own, because I haven't made my own video in a while without Chris, um, so I just thought I would real quick. Um, I'm kind of getting to the point where, like, I know everyone says, like, when you are trying to lose weight or you want to lose weight, you have to, like, get to a point where you can actually do it. I don't know if that even makes sense. Um... But where you're actually, like, physically and mentally and just, you're ready to do it. Um, and I feel like I'm getting to that point because it's like, I feel like the months keep passing. And each month isn't really that spectacular for weight loss. I mean, August was okay for me because I actually have been making progress on my weight loss. But it hasn't been, like, spectacular. Um, especially at my weight, I could be losing a lot more weight a lot faster. And I think for me I've just gotten to a point where I'm sick of having like month after month it's just like and week after week it's like I have a few good days and then I do bad and then I don't exercise for a while and then I eat crappy and I mean at the end of the night every night you know like most people I kind of think through my day and my choices and um have some regrets with what I do and I feel like I'm to the point where I'm just kind of sick of feeling like that like I could have done better and I didn't stick to my goals and I didn't do what I wanted to do and I was lazy today or I gave into that temptation today um, and I feel like I've been doing that for a very long time which is obvious because if you've been following me, which not very many people have because I've been kind of all over the place with different channels and stuff, but I've been around YouTube for quite a while and um, I really haven't made very much progress, which really is really irritating to me because I'm here to lose weight and I make videos saying I'm doing this and I'm going to do this and I have this planned out and then when it comes to doing it, I kind of do it and then I fizzle out and I never actually have made progress on my weight loss. Um, if you compare the scale today to what it was January of 2009, I mean, it's pretty much the same. <coughs> so that's just irritating and um, I'm just getting kind of sick of being at this point. And the thing that is really actually motivating me right now more than anything, even though I have a million things to motivate me to do this um, is that I don't want to get to January 1st of 2011 and be at the same place because I remember when I was it was January of 2010 and I thought to myself you're gonna be a lot you weigh a lot less this time next year because you don't want to think a whole year has gone by and you haven't done anything about it so I have um, September October November December four months to go far enough to feel like I really did make progress this year and I didn't just, you know, not really do anything because that's pretty much what I do. Even if I do have some good days, I cancel them out with some bad days and then I'm exactly where I started. So, and after a while that gets kind of irritating, obviously. Um, and I don't want to, I don't want to be one of those people that I've already been where I come on here and I have this plan and I'm going to do all this, these things. And then a week later I come up with a new plan because I'll even watch people who do that. And I'll think to myself, if they would have just stuck to the plan they made their video about three months ago, they would have been so much farther right now. And that's exactly me. So... I need to start telling myself that. Um, and I don't want to discredit any of the progress I've made in the last month. I have lost, what is it, almost six pounds? So, I mean, and since the beginning of the year, I've lost, let me see here, 13 pounds. So it's not like extravagant, amazing weight loss, but it is a little bit of weight loss. But I'm at the, like I said, I'm at the point where I could be losing. A lot bigger numbers at this point um, 
And so that's what I want to do. So I feel like I just need to kind of like clean my slate, start fresh, and take baby steps and stop trying to do like have everything be so black and white. Like either I'm over here and I'm sitting on my ass doing nothing and eating fast food or the other part I'm over here can't even see that um eating super healthy and going to the gym all the time it's like that's how it is for me if I'm not eating really healthy and going to the gym then I feel like oh I'm failing so I'm over here sitting on my ass eating fast food and junk um and I need to like find my way into that middle ground and take slow baby steps to where I want to be. Um, and I feel like I'll make a lot better progress if I do that. Um, so I'm not going to like cut out any plan here or like say I'm doing this or that. Um, I'm just going to kind of, like I said, clean my slate and figure out what I can change right now and what will help me right now and um, go from there. And I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to make a vlog where I could just talk and not have to worry about saving time for Chris to talk or anything like that. Not that I don't like making videos with him. I love doing that with him. And I feel like since he's doing the Hot Following Challenge with me, it's really helped me a lot to be successful so far because honestly, I've never finished a challenge. And I'm really confident that we're going to finish this one together. So that makes me really happy. And I'm glad that we both obviously have completely different goals in mind because he's trying to gain weight and really bulk up. And I'm trying to slim down and um, all that. So I guess that's it. I just wanted to put this out there. Um, and it's always nice when it's the beginning of a month because you feel like it's a clean slate, even though every day can be a clean slate. But it's kind of nice it's the beginning of September, and I feel like I can renew my plan and restart what I'm doing and really focus on it and um, be successful. And so that's pretty much it. And I just want to say thanks to Greg for the coaching session last night. That was really helpful for me. I did write out my action which I did today I did go to the gym and I planned ahead plan ahead for the gym and the way I did that was first I planned ahead to go to the store in the morning because my headphones broke and I can't do the cardio machine without music because I just go insane so we made it to the store I got my new headphones um, came home had lunch and my son took his nap and when he got up I had planned that we we're gonna go to the gym and we did so Sorry this video is probably a lot longer than I intended it to be, but I just wanted to kind of get that out there. Um, and it would just be nice if, you know, there's people that I've followed on YouTube for a long time and um, tried to be as supportive as I could. And so I'm just hoping that I can, you know, have a consistent feedback with some of the same people as time goes. Um, and I think from here on out, I'll just post on this channel. I have my other channel, Love Sarah Jade. I took all my vi my videos down from there, and um, it's kind of like a nothing channel right now. But I feel like good things are happening on Life of Leland with me and my husband, and he might keep making videos after the Halloween challenge is done. So I might be making my own videos for this challenge as well. Or, I mean, for this channel as well even though it's for the hot for Halloween challenge. Um, so I hope that's not confusing. Um, so if you made it this far, thank you. I appreciate it. And um, if you have any suggestions or feedback that you would like to offer me, I would appreciate it. And I can handle constructive criticism. Just don't be too harsh. Um, this is my journey. This is my path. And I like to respect that everyone else is on their own path. And I hope that you can do the same for me. Thanks. Bye.